Hello. Good morning, everyone. We are going to learn how to run a t test or test of student or student test. Yeah, it's called also student test or t test, whatever you are just calling it. Yeah, then t test here. <clears throat> First, the, the role of T-test is to just to compare the means of two groups. Yeah. We have different kind of T-tests. Uh, 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 now, let's say that when we have more than two groups, we cannot, we cannot use T-test. T-test is used only for two groups to for the comparison of uh, two, the means of two groups. And we have, the, as I was just saying previously, we have different kind of T-tests we have a single a simple t test we have uh, uh, two samples to t test which can be dependent or independent okay we are talking about simple simple t test is uh, when we are comparing our the mean of uh, our work or the lab work with a mean which is already known like uh, what we are calculating or what we are doing, we want to compare it with a standard mean, which is already known. You can, others can tell you that that one is maybe the comparison of the mean of the sample and the mean of the population, for example. Okay, but now talking about uh, two samples mean is when we have uh, two samples mean, we have two kinds of group, two different, uh, two, two groups. And now we are talking about t tests with dependent groups when it is the same group, but uh, which where we are calculating the means in different condition. Like uh, the same group, we calculate the mean, or we did statistic with it, and after we change the condition, we change some kind of things, and we are doing it again. Then at that moment, we are comparing the mean of the same group, but uh, under different conditions. And now, talking about t tests, uh, independent uh, t tests with independent group, meaning like the way it is, it meaning that the, those groups don't have anything which is relating them. They are totally different. Okay, I have also to remind that t test also is a, what we are calling parameter test, meaning that we should do normally have norm uh, normal distribution uh, data uh, with the groups we are dealing with. Okay, uh, we also we are also doing t tests when we have uh, quantitative discrete or continuous variables. You can understand that we can only calculate the mean of something which is quantitative, and it's for this reason is when we are dealing with quantitative variables, so at that moment, we are just using t-test. We cannot use t-test with uh, qualitative data. Okay, as you can see from my screen, it's what we will be doing, that we will just delete and start from scratch. Uh -huh. What is happening? Okay, let me delete everything. Uh, around here, as uh, the, uh, the, the the software Python is working with uh, what we are calling modules or packages, and we need to import them here before to do whatever we want to do, for example. Now, first of all, we need to import this module called, called, uh, called Pandas, which can allow us to import our data or, the, or, or to structure our data, then import Pandas, Pandas as PD. And now, after it, we need also to import um, uh, from, okay, we will say from the module S E I C S C S C I Pi start import test. Take this one and do the one independent. And we will learn to see if everything is okay up to now. Okay, that's okay. Then I think uh, those one will allow us to do whatever we want just to do around here. Then because I have imported what I need, I need now to import again my data 
import pandas as we will use pandas to to import my data okay call it data equal pandas read uh, csv because the data i want to use here is a csv format and what you have to do if you have data on your computer just go where that data is and now select it and right click properties and copy the location and uh, the name of the data here is which one we will go and paste what we copied and now we we'll just paste it and now add the name of the data in our case the data is which one and uh, i will add the format csv and now we can run After this one, we have our data already, but we need to see it. Then we should use a print and now see our data. But here, I want to see only the six first lines of my data. Data, head now, uh, from each I can print data head. And now, data head, we will see the first lines of our data as you can see it. Why are we doing this? We are doing this to see the structure of our data. Previously, I was just talking about uh, the quantity data. To know that a variable is a quantity, you need to see it. Then we need just to bring this uh, first five lines, uh, rows, and see what is happening. And from here, we can see that like the variables like wage, education, experience are quantitative one. We can use them. We can use them and run whatever we want to do, for example. Yeah. Then let's, let us now say, uh, t -test. Uh, um, this, uh, then we can define our groups. Uh, the first group, can we say that the group one is education and say that the group two, uh, group two, group two is experience. Yeah, as I was just precising, we are just using t -test when we are comparing the mean of two groups. When we are above two groups, it's not the test we should use. That is the point. Then let's also define our H nodes or null hypothesis. Now, for, for this test, for example, now we are seeing that the mean of the two groups are not the uh, are the same or are not different. The means of the two groups are not different that is the h note which we will reject or accept according to the value of our pivot then we can proceed now then we will be having the coefficients of the t-test and we will be having the pivot also then we can run it all in our t-test yes now from it now we have to bring our groups the first group is we have data and we have uh, the first group education and now comma the second group which is experience in our case around here okay we have it now after now we need to print the result printing the result you will see print um the uh, coefficients i want is to be three decimal points and also I want to be able to be also printed three decimal point and now after Okay, then we can now proceed and see, we can run and see what will happen. Is everything up to now? Is just okay? Okay, uh, from error, yeah, I wrote something which is not uh, what we am, uh, I should not uh, write. They say educ, uh, yeah, rather than educ, I wrote, I wrote educ, that was the point. 
Let's just run again. Okay, another kind of problem which is just around there. Let's just go and see. Line 10, they say line 10 motive print. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yes. Yeah, is not defined. Yeah, I was just writing something which is not also what I define. Tick off. Efficiency, okay. Can you see? Uh, very sensitive. Huh? I miss A around here. Okay, let us run again. Yeah, it's okay now. As you can see, we have our result. That's the coefficient of our t-test and the p-value. Uh, we can proceed telling, for example, um, our software to print uh, if our p value or p is less than uh, is less than p is less than 0 0.05 we'll tell it to print as yeah when p value is less than five percent meaning that we can reject now our p value and uh, we can reject our h note or null hypothesis and now that moment we can conclude, for example, that the mean of the two group are different when we are rejecting p-value. Then if p-value is less than 5%, we will tell the software to print that one, the means of the two groups are statistically different. Okay, if it's not, we want the software to print. We want it to print. It's not the case. We want it to print uh, the means. The means of the two groups are not statistical call it different. That's the point, because when it is greater than 5%, we are now failing to reject the H note and we are accepting the H note. That's the point. Then rather than drawing conclusion ourselves, we are just in software to tell us this one. Then when it is to, it's greater than 5%, this one will come. The means of the two groups are not such called different. And let's ask now, and see what will happen. Okay, then we have our result and we have the conclusion which is saying the means of the two groups are not statistically different, right? Because when we are just looking at the p-value, it's greater than 5% in our case here. And the conclusion is this one. And I hope that this one will help you. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do that because we have a lot of things to learn together. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, please subscribe. Okay, that is, uh, we have uh, many videos on Python, such call analysis with Python. Yeah, we can check on our channel. Thank you. Hope that this one will help you.